The Rainbird MaxiPod 2045A SAM is a closed case impact rotor with a sealomatic check valve. We're going to discuss a few of the features and show you how to change out a nozzle and make some adjustments. I'm Dwayne Smith, your Sprinkle Warehouse product specialist. Let's get started. This is the 2045A Maxipaw Sealomatic Rotor by Rainbird. It's an impact rotor that pops up similar to the way most gear-driven rotors do. Two of the main kinds of rotors that are used out there today are gear-driven and impact. So what's the difference? With gear-driven rotors, all the mechanism that cause the rotor to turn are inside the body of the rotor. while impact rotors have all the mechanisms that cause them to turn outside the body. So impact rotors have straight through water flow, and that makes them good for dirty water applications. The 2045A SAM has a sealomatic check valve. Having a check valve prevents low head drainage. If there's a significant elevation difference within a zone, when the sprinklers shut off, the lowest head often drains water out of the piping within that zone. This can result in puddling and erosion. A check valve will prevent water from draining out of the head. The sealomatic check valve on the MaxiPaw works with up to 10 feet of elevation change. This rotor pops up above the soil 3 inches. It has a combination inlet on bottom that accepts both half inch and 3 quarter inch fittings, and it also has a half inch on the side as well. Note the sealomatic check valve does not work with this side inlet, it only works when you use the bottom inlet. The MaxiPaw can be set to a 360 degree non-reversing full circle or its arc adjustable from 20 to 340 degrees. The rotor comes with five standard trajectory nozzles and two low angle nozzles. It has a watering distance of 22 to 45 feet depending on the nozzle installed and how the adjustment screw is set and the water pressure in your system. So let's go outside and show the adjustments. Swing the arm out of the way to reveal the nozzle. To change the nozzle, the water should be off. On this little tab to the left, apply forward pressure as you turn the nozzle counterclockwise, and the nozzle will slide right out. Put the new nozzle in place with the long tab down. Then twist clockwise until the nozzle locks into place. You can now release the arm. You can adjust the diffusion screw to shorten or lengthen the watering distance, also called the radius. The diffusion screw also breaks up the spray to create a more even watering pattern. This little metal lever in back, which I'm going to call the trip switch, switches the impact from full circle to partial circle pattern. When the trip switch hits each side of the wings of the trip collar, the impact reverses direction. To change the pattern, also called the arc, just move the trip collars, no tools necessary. You can set the arc anywhere from 20 to 340 degrees. The MaxiPaw is a very popular rotor with our customers. I think you're going to love working with it. Order your MaxiPaws today on sprinklerwarehouse.com. Remember, Sprinkler Warehouse has everything you need to make your trees, lawn, flower beds, and gardens lush and beautiful. Questions? Chat with one of our incredible customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really do know their stuff and they'll get you squared away. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for helpful tips, tutorials, and general sprinkler instruction. Sprinkler Warehouse, America's most shop sprinkler store.